Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Unika Son. For today, I'll be doing my makeup. Yes, I've missed doing makeup on my, on my vlog. The other thing is, I've broad dried my hair, as you can see. I'm gonna style it later, and I'm gonna show you the length. And actually, my hair has really, really grown. I can't believe it is 11 months of no plating, no heat. <gasps> It has been a journey. Uh, actually, it has been a journey that I've really enjoyed. Sometimes I feel so tired of not tired of combing my hair. But they, like I've said, this natural journey. It's it's somebody. It really needs somebody who wants to be dedicated because it has those flows where you wake up and you feel like, oh my god, do I have to comb my hair? But then there are days I feel like that and. And I'm like, you know what, girl, you really have to do this because it's for the content. It's because you love this. I just push myself to do it. So, yes, there is those days. And now I can see the outcome. I'm so happy. The other thing is I'm going to go to a professional salon. A salonist. Is it salonist? I don't know. Please correct me if I've said the wrong thing. And I want to trim my hair because it's. I've seen like... The volume, uh, it's not of the same length and I didn't trust the person who was doing my blood right to trim my hair. Yes, so I'm going to look for another salonist then I'm going to show you guys the, the, after I trim, then we continue with the journey. Yes, yes. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, give it a like and subscribe down below. You can also hit the notification uh, bell so that once I post a vlog, you'll be notified immediately. And let's jump onto the video. So, uh, because I want my makeup to stay for long, I'm going to moisturize my face using this uh, Nivea moisturizer. It's a hand cream and a face uh, moisturizer. You can use also in your on your body. And also, bear with me if you hear the noises because the kids playing outside. And I'm doing this video early morning. So. Then I'm going to add this serum. It's a vitamin C serum. I love it so much. And it's really favoring my face. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's really, really favoring my face. Apply the serum in circular motion. So I decided to do a voiceover instead because of the noises. And I, I started by brushing through my eyebrows using a spoolie, as you can see. And then make sure that your eyebrows are uh, there. You brush through facing upwards. And I'm using a loose powder on my eyebrows. And make sure that your eye pencil then again is sharp. And I'm using Davis number 3. And this is my to-go-to eye pencil, by the way. I love this eye pencil. The other thing is, make sure that your eyebrows, they look like twins or sisters, but not cousins. Yes, and by now, I hope you guys are learning on how to improve on your makeup, on how to apply makeup. Uh, isn't to Kenda 2024, we should, all of us should have known on how to apply makeup at least basic makeup and today i'm going to do some basic makeup Where my eyebrows they begin, I tend to use light strokes. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but anyways, we move on regardless. Uh, on, and then I'm going to use, use a spoolie to brush through my eyebrows. I don't know what. Anyways, don't forgive me. Then I'm going to define my eyebrows using a uh, concealer, which is two shades lighter than my skin tone, and it's found by Illegal, of course. But they, I think I'm an illegal person. As per now, yeah, it means I could recruit. Yeah, also, the foundation is it's such a bomber's foundation, you should buy it if you don't have it. Sometimes Maybelline can be quite expensive. We try to, I'm your plug, like I said, this channel we are, are we are here to learn, so you can use that uh, illegal foundation, it's the best actually. I've been using it, and for sure, for shoes, I can tell you guys to buy it. Then to define on the upper side of the eyebrows, I'm going to use my foundation, which is the same as my skin tone, as you can see.
I'm going to blend in my foundation and my concealer using uh, my brush. This brush is amazing and it's a game changer. By the way, Nilinunua Du Bois here in Kenya. Yes, I bought it at Du Bois and mm, Alhamdulillah, I tend to abuse this brush. Then I'm using the same same brush to blend in my eyeshadow primer because I want my shadow to stay hmm, to stay for long and to look snatched. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to use an earth tone and I'm going to apply a brown eyeshadow and it's matte. I didn't feel like doing a shimmer makeup. I don't know why. Nowadays, I don't like shimmer makeup. I love to look as natural as possible. Like, I don't know. I think I'm growing old. <laughs> it is what it is. And make sure that you blend in your eyeshadow well. For the makeup to stay long, I apply my primer, of course. I love this primer, by the way, guys. It can be used on any skin tone. Even if your skin is sensitive, you have combination skin, dry skin, normal skin. So, and then I'm going to apply my foundation. It's Maybelline in the shade 67 called warm coconut i think i'll put everything in the description box and make sure you squeeze off the excess water on your beauty blender yes and make sure your beauty blender is dumb and then on my foundation i tend to use the f foundation but in minimal so that i don't so that my makeup doesn't look for speakers i just like applying makeup and i look myself i don't know why but you'll see like on this video particularly then i took my brush just to blend in the foundation and don't forget about your necks guys uh most of the time why men they tend to dislike our makeup it's because we forget to apply makeup on our necks so that that's why we look like two different people then i'm going to highlight under my eye using the same same concealer in the shade phone and uh, to blend uh, to blend I did it off camera then I'm going to contour my face I love looking snatched and the good thing about applying contour it's the fact that if you had made any mistake now you can correct your face and you go back to the same shade that your skin tone it looks like now I'm going to slim my nose. This is the best part. I I tend no I tend to like my nose looking slim. There is just something about your nose looking slim. It makes your makeup looks ex extraordinary. Then I'm going to brush off the excess loose powder. And blend in the loose powder. Just trust the process. Just keep on blending in. And here I was blending in the loose powder and just look at that just look at that bro the jaw has notched yeah hey <laughs> he said contouring out outdoes 
it ought to do everything about the makeup and it makes my face looks so slim and snatched. Then I'm going to apply some mascara on my eyelashes. And the reason why I apply mascara is to elongate my lashes and it makes the makeup looks different. Like I live for mascara, but then I can't go without a mascara. I just can't go outside without a mascara. <laughs> Then I'm applying some uh, black uh, eyeliner. And by the way, there's a difference once you apply some eyeliner on your eyes. It makes the eyes look as white, as you can see. Then I'm going to brush the mascara on my lower eyelid. And I'm uh, using a tissue just not to tamper with my makeup. That's a hack I saw online. And... Uh, let me share with you guys. Like I said, we are here to learn and we are here to share information. Then I'm applying some gold shimmer eyeshadow on the inner corner of the eye. Also, I decided not to do eyelashes because my eyelashes are long once I apply mascara so most of the time it's why i avoid using eyelashes then i'm going to outline my lips using a red eye lip liner sorry Then I'm applying the red lippy, of course. I love red lipstick. There is just something about red lipstick. It makes you look so different, so bold. Like you look like a boss, boss, like a bad bitch, like a boss. As in like, I can't explain about red lippy. You don't argue with me. Don't even try to argue with me about red lipstick, bro. And then I'm going to apply some blush on my cheekbone. And with it, nowadays I live for blush. I used to fear applying it, but nowadays I'm like, bro! It makes the makeup look so different. And most of the time you look like you're smiling, even if you're not even smiling. Like, there's just something about applying some blush. And then I'm blending in using my fingers just to make sure I look snatched. Yes, I was like, yay! Then I applied some pow compact powder just to set the makeup and to let the makeup stay for long. And like I've said, whatever you do on your face, apply it on your neck so that you don't look like two different people. And at this point, I was like, eh, hey, eh, hey, eh. Hey. Can somebody marry this girl? Can somebody propose to this girl? Oh, she looks so nice. She looks so fine. I was like, hey. Okay. and now I'm going to style my hair and this is the part where I told you guys I straightened my hair hmm? my hair it's giving bro it's giving it's giving just look at just look at it then I'm going to style my hair with just like a simple hairstyle that I just love doing most of the time and hope you guys you have enjoyed uh, this uh, vlog Make sure that you give this video a like, mm? comment, and please share this video. And tell a friend, tell a friend to come and watch my YouTube channel because we're about to do lots of things. And here we, are, we learn and we share information. Yes, and I was like, eh? I will just look up. This hairstyle was giving me that old school vibe, the 90s vibe, you know? And... Um, I love my hair straightened. I've stayed for with it for like two weeks because I couldn't believe the length 
the volume and here I was like ready for the day then I'm going to set my makeup so that it stays for long and also it's it shines and pops and guys look at my hair just look at the back view hey, 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 bro. like bro like I've said I haven't plated for a whole one year and my hair has really grown and that's the final look guys hope you guys have enjoyed this video please give it a like and see you on the next one bye